What's up guys, Card Protagonist here, and today I'll be doing a booster box opening on a future card body fight, Evolution and Mutation. So this set is really amazing because there are tons of great awesome goodies that you get from this set, and there's many new decks you can build from this set. So if you're starting on body fight, this is actually one of the great sets to get. And I will be doing tons of deck profile for this set, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let us get started. So this box uh, contains support from Dragon World, Darkness Dragon World, Star Dragon World, and 100 Demons. I believe there's more, but uh, I won't be too specific about it because most of the stuff you're getting is the Darkness Dragon and uh, drag mostly dragons. You know the drill. The body fight is more of dragons. So let without further ado, let us get started. Uh, right, news. Apparently, I can't aim with my my scissors. Apparently I'm dumb and I can't open my scissors, so I will be using my nails instead. Alright. So every every single booster box comes with a, a box topper promo, which is a secret flag. It's kinda like a secret flag, but it is not a secret flag. I can't explain it, but it looks amazing. So yeah, get one for your world. I believe there's a couple of designs, Star Dragon World, Hundred Demons, Dragon World, and Darkness Dragon World. Darkness Dragon World 1 is uh, Purgatory Knight, so it, it is not Abigail, unfortunately. Let's get started with the booster box opening. So, uh, Evil Grab Dragon used to be a golden body set card, and it's reprinted as a common. So, there's no uncommon in this set. This used to be a... Uh, it's, it's quite a good card to get. So, yeah. Uh, this is a great card for Purgatory Knight. And the card, first card we got is... Um, Tenacious Omni Lot Negro Ball. So Negro Balls actually got an upgrade. That's great. And my lighting's bad. I apologize. All right. So yeah, Negro Negro Balls is our first our triple rare. His ability is when a monster or item on your opponent's field is destroyed, put a number of cards on the top of the deck into the drop zone so equal to the critical of the card and deal damage to the deck. Do your opponent deal equals to the number of cards in the drop zone. So uh, basically, if you destroy um, a three crit monster, you Mill your opponent's card. Yeah, you milled him three, then he he take three, and this card has double attack and it's a size two. So it's really good for controlling the bot. And I believe there's a new deck right now which is using abusing Dra uh, Darkness Dragon World's control aspect to gain advantage. And this is one of the cards that you have to play. It's a great card, and it's an Omni Lot, so you can play it in any deck. Uh, personally, I think it's a great counter to. Um, no, the the previous Negro Boss was a great counter to uh Chaos, but. Not really now. So some new cards here. Uh, mostly old cards. Uh, reprint. This is basically a negate. So you do not need to get the 100 demons trout decks to get your negates. And uh, this is a gear destruction. It's a reprint. It used to be a double rare. And now it's a rare card. So many of your cards from the previous set is now reprinted as a common or rare. So that's great actually. Because uh, some of these cards are really really hard to get. For example, um, Crush Their Body is a Stain Mine. Uh, it is a card that used to be a rare, but now it's common reprint. And this card used to be a secret rare, but it reprinted as a rare. Great. Because this card is really difficult to get. Um, also cards like Fifth Omni Lot Drum and Dr Esther is reprinted. So it is great because it, you, now you can build those decks. Um, Fifth Omni Wicked Lot Negro Balls. This is the one that counters... Um, Chaos because when a monster of the size is destroyed, you can just uh, make them top deck. I'm uh, sorry, deal damage equals to the cards size. So, Chaos is a size 30, you deal 30 damage to them, is pretty much game. Brand new cards for Fifth Omnis. And Demolition Bite. Demolition Bite is a, a pretty okay control card. Pay one gauge and one life, choose one of your put choose one of the following two. Return up to 10 cards from your opponent's drop zone to the deck and shuffle the deck. So, uh, it's great to hinder your opponent's strategies. And second ability is you can destroy all monsters on, on the, each player's field. So it is a uh, okay card, I find. Uh, Star deck docking is a very good card for Jack. Purgatory Knight Sword. I believe this is uh these cards are from the uh what you call it? This cards are from the start start decks for Purgatory Knights. And an impact reprint. Um, in Dragon Lord Initiation Giga Howling Crusher is the fifth Omni impact. They it used to be a rare, but now it's a double rare. I don't know why. 
some uh, some cards in this set are quite questionable their rarities for example stuff like yami ghetto we reprinted that many times but i understand because yami ghetto is a card that you need to build the deck so makes sense uh help for executioners gargarios so it is an upgrade for gargarios put a monster from a field to cut so and pay three gauge when this card attacks, put the top two cards of each player's deck in the drop zone and put the top card of deck into your gauge. Then, if your opponent have 25 cards or more in the drop zone, deal two damage to your opponent when this card attacks. Uh, note, it has double attack, so you attack twice, deal two, and attack for two. Deal two, attack for two. That is a lot of damage, especially in the late game. It's a pretty good finisher. And he has double attack and Soga, so it's quite tanky. Don't get um, won't get easily removed by your opponent's removal cards. Right. Gabriel Uncle used to be a rare. Death Telica. Put one or more deep monster from your field into the drop zone. Into a cut zone and pay three gauge. During your turn, put four deep from your drop zone into the bottom of that in any order. If you do, send this card. So put four from the drop zone into the bottom of that in any order. So it is basically a restanding monster. Interesting because Death Telica used to be a soul sacker, but this is a more of an aggressive version of Death Telica. And Butts Afflicted by Darkness. So, dark Butts have a dark form, which is cool. It's a half Darkness Dragon World and a Dragon World card. Pay 2 gauge, core cost. When this card is destroyed, you can draw a card. At the beginning of your attack phase, put a card from your opponent's gauge into the drop zone. Then, if you have 4 life or less, deal 2 damage to your opponent. So, um, it's pretty much a triple attack if you have 4 life or less because you do additional 2 damage to your opponent and you could uh, hinder your opponent's strategy by sending cards from their gauge to the drop zone which will cause them to lose gauge which is a viable tactic against certain decks that eat a lot of gauge. Star Trek Boost. This card is used to be really hard to get now it's reprinted as a common. A parallel foil of Unparalleled Arts. Alright. Tembu SD reprinted. Uh, Lord Dragon Shoe. Uh, I love this art. This art looks amazing. Yes, it. Uh, even though it used to be an uncommon, it's now a double rare. So this is one of those cards that got a surprising um, rarity. 95 attack and take 1 damage. Basically, it just helps you trigger your 5th uh, Omni skills so that you'll be able to pull off some effects. Uh, best combo again, combo with uh, Drum. Because Drum is able to pop one of the opponent's monsters when you are dealt damage. Alright, let's get on to the next half of the box. Parallel Foil of Eraser Hand used to be a promo. This is a good card. Put the top four cards of your deck into your drop uh, into your gauge. Then for each number of cards your opponents have on the field, you must send the number of gauge to the drop zone. So you could either set up your drop zone or just charge lots of gauge. Oh, I love the card. And here we got the Yami Gero Secret Pack. It is pretty cool. I mean, it's not the one that I want to pick up, but, you know, it's a secret pack. Alright, so, uh, Yami Gero secret pack in this set is kind of different from the usual secret packs you get. You have two of each, um, two of the boss monster, which you have two of the cargo, Inverse Stern Spirit, Kakochu, Kokujo, yeah, Kokujo Yami Gero. So, Kokos put one or more, one or more monsters from your field into this card, so, and pay three gauge. Thundermine, when a monster enters your opponent's field, deal one damage to your opponent. It is not once per turn, so if your opponent were to call lots of monsters in one turn, they will be devastated by Thundermine. So activate skill. Choose a monster on your opponent's field and you may discard a 100 demons card or a card of Omni Lord from your hand if you do destroy the chosen card. So it is a very, very good card in my opinion because uh, first up, you can just discard cards to control your opponent's Feel which forces them to call more monsters, which makes them eat more Thundermine damage. 
and discarding your 100 demons is really easy so yeah and it doesn't it just controls the bot it's, it's actually very good against dragon Zoi because you can discard two um pretty much just discard two of your 100 demon sponsor to just end the dragon Zoi's turn so yeah very control card and the extra push with thundermine is just so good so two copies of that a nameless valkyrie you have one a holographic holographic version and one non-holographic when this card enters the field choose a size three monster in your drop zone and you may pay one life if you do Put the chosen card to your hand. So it's a size 3 retriever. One copy of Dingus. It kind of looks like uh, Count Dawn, but it's not Count Dawn. When this card enters the field, pull up the top two cards of your drop zone into your gauge. So you charge two gauge. Alright, so that is our secret pack. Parallel foil Sea Frost. Looks nice. a very cute dragon. Rep Souvenir. When this card is destroyed and you have an impact set on your field, <coughs> sorry, you may pay a gauge. If you do, draw two cards. You can only activate Rep Souvenir once per turn. So great with uh, set decks such as Abigail. I reprinted. This used to be a triple rare, a very expensive one. Now it's printed as a rare. Truth of Darkness. You may only cast a card if two or more cards on your opponent's field is destroyed during this turn. It is a counter, you could use it both on your or your opponent's turn. Destroy this turn. So you can gain one life and draw two cards. So it's a very good draw engine, especially if you're playing in Azidaka or any Darkness Dragon World, because Darkness Dragon World has a lot of control, so you get lots of advantage for it. Uh Elbinia is a very good card for a Darkness Dragon World. Great card. And Purgatory Sword. Woo! Then Purgatory Sword. Good. Very nice, P for you. I will like that. Main force used to be double rare, now reprinted as a rare. So this set has given us lots of good value if you're looking for certain cards. This used to be a promo. Drum the Punisher. Yes, this is one of those weird cards. Um, it used to be a rare, and now it's pre-printed as a double rare. Even though the art is pretty sick, because this is like a full art card, you can see. Um, you can take one damage to gain three life. So taking damage in fifth army is basically giving you a plus, and you can gain two life for free. It, it saves you a lot of time, especially if you're uh, in trouble against impacts. P Foy Abigail Spare Sonic Blast, another rare card that reprinted as a common. Oh, nice! Uh, Fifth Omni Lot Drum. So it's a very very nice card. It used to be a secret rare, only now reprinted as a triple rare. So yeah, it's an alternate art as well. This card can be called Center Cocos. Put a top card of that into this card so and pay on gauge. When you have dealt damage and you have six life or less. You can destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So yeah, triggering stuff, combining the cards with Drago Guards allows you to glue some free sick combos, which means you can destroy your opponent's monster while gaining life. That's great. And finally, one last card is a Koda Gaita, Final Gate Guider. Uh, put the top card of deck into this card so and pay to gate. Shoulder dive. This card can attack the opponent even monsters in the center. So shadow dive. If your monster Opponent has monster in the center, this card gains us 5k power and 1 crit, so it's a 3 crit with double attack and shadow dive. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, against a Tora, because we got shadow dive. Whew, sick. Alright, so yeah, let me go through the pools. This is a double rare, so a triple rare. Great card. Double rare, secret pack. This is my double rare. Triple rare bats. Double rare, double, triple rare. Double, double, and triple rare. So I hope you guys enjoyed my booster pack opening on the evolution and mutation set. If you like more deck profiles, be sure to subscribe to my channel and add me on Facebook. So links in the description box below. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.